my name is Abal Sadar. I am from Wisconsin in the United States. I was previously a soldier in the United States Army and then after I retired I worked in construction and now for a company called Gordon's Food Services in the shipping industry. Jordan Martin firstly explains how he met the Kurdish people. I learned about the Kurdish people um, growing up in high school. When they talked about a desert storm and what Saddam had done to uh, the Kurds in Iraq. And then I learned more about the Kurds when I joined the military and we were in Iraq and the Kurdish people were helping us in northern Iraq. And then before I came over to join the YPG, I did some research and I learned about Kurdistan and that the Kurdish people are from four nations, Turkey, Iraq, Iran, and Syria, and how they struggle to be able to live together in peace. Matson says he has informed himself about the struggle of the YPG against the ISIS gangs through the internet in recent times. Although he already had information about the Kurdish people and says he decided to join the YPG as he preferred to do something rather than nothing. I learned about the YPG on Facebook and I wanted to come join because I got sick of watching so many innocent people be killed as Daesh grew and my country doing nothing about it for over a year. I got sick of everyone saying how bad it was but doing nothing about it. So I made up my own mind to come over here to do something about it. Matson says the YPG is a bigger organization than he previously thought it to be and adds that he is happy he has gained acceptance so quickly in the YPG. I thought the YPG would be much smaller than it is when I came over originally, but it seems to have many more members than what I thought it would be, and I never really understood how loving these people are over here, how I've been accepted as a family member by everyone in the community. It's something that's very hard to find in many other nations. He says he observes the border with ISIS with his new unit and did not have any difficulties regarding the conditions in the YPG except the language barrier for the moment. About two weeks ago, I flew over from the United States into Iraq and then I came to Rojava and I was in my unit for around a week. And now I'm in the hospital recovering from my injuries. Coming over, um, they've been very open and welcoming to me. It's been an interesting experience because I only know a little Kurdish and they only know a little English, some. And so a lot of what we communicate with is body language and trying to understand each other. But it's been a very fun time trying to learn Kurdish while at the same time they are learning English so we can communicate better together. Matson says that he took part in a clash with ISIS gangs and adds that the gangs were repelled at the end of six hours clashes despite the heavy weapons the gangs had. Well, most of the time you're spent uh, watching the border with Daesh, so there isn't much of a life you, you need to pay attention because we need to protect the others here in Rojava. So we wake up and uh, we do our guard duty. And if we are going to go fight, we go fight. Otherwise, we defend the land that we've been given to defend. Um, we do have our fun times, though, um, when we sit down to eat together. And though we cannot understand each other all the time, um, we make jokes and learn ways to communicate together. The, everyone has been nothing but loving towards me. It's treated me like a member of their own family. When we are not fighting, their, their families have asked me to come stay with them and or have dinner with them. And it's something that's new to me and I'm very appreciative. Matson sent a message to his family and friends that he is fine and says that he will stay in Rojava until the struggle against ISIS is victorized. When I told my family about my decision to come to Syria and Kurdistan to fight against ISIS, at first they were very concerned because they did not want any harm to come to me but they soon came to understand why I went because of all the people that have been persecuted over here and have been killed and they, they know that they need good men and women who are willing to defend these people that they may live in peace 